Hello everyone. In this example, we are told that a ball is thrown straight up over the edge of a building and it has its height in feet modeled by the quadratic function h of t is equal to negative 16t squared plus 70t plus 25. Here t is measuring time in seconds since the ball was thrown. And using this model and this information, we want to find the maximum height the ball will reach. And so a graph or picture is not necessary at all to solve this problem, but it can be helpful making sure our answer and approach makes sense. And so if we sketch the graph of negative 16t squared plus 70t plus 25, and we're talking about a very rough sketch here, not going through our normal process of finding the vertex and two symmetric points or anything like that. Just by looking at our equation in standard form, we can see that y-intercept is gonna be at 25 and it's gonna be a concave down parabola. And then it's using kind of information in the problem statement, we know it's thrown up and gonna go up a little bit and then come back down. Our quadratic functions graph should look something like this. And one thing to remember when we're looking at this height graph is this is height versus time, not like vertical height versus horizontal height. So if we throw this ball straight up over the edge of the building, we don't wanna misinterpret this as thinking it's actually traveling horizontally away from the building. This is saying, the height, just vertical distance up and down, is it's going straight up for a bit, and as time goes on, it reaches its maximum height, and then starts to fall straight back down, eventually going past the point of the building where we threw it until it hits the ground. But we are interested in finding the maximum height of our ball, and this is where our picture might help us here. We're interested in this point at the very top of our curve, at the top of our parabola, but that maximum or the top of our concave down parabola is what we refer to as the vertex. And so now we have to remember or recall those important pieces of information about the vertex. Notice our equation is in that standard form. We've replaced our normal variable of x with t, but other than that, it is exactly the same. So if we're in that standard form, like at squared plus bt plus c, then when the vertex is always given by negative b, over 2a, or at least the x coordinate, or now our t coordinate or time value is always given by negative b over 2a. So, so far we've read the problem statement, identified we're working with a quadratic function, and the thing we're seeking out for this quadratic function is its maximum. So there we need to make the connection that the maximum goes along with the vertex, and now we have to just basically find the vertex. That's really all this problem is asking us to do is find the vertex of this quadratic function. And so we know the t value for our vertex is gonna be given by negative b over 2a. So remember, a is our leading coefficient, b is our linear coefficient, and c is our constant term. So our negative b value is going to be negative 70. Our a value is negative 16. So two times our a value is gonna give us negative 32. And so now we simplify our fraction, negative seven over 32 is equivalent to positive 35 over positive 16, or as a decimal, that's equal to 2.1875 seconds. So what that time value is telling us is after this ball has been released, it takes exactly 2.1875 seconds in order for the ball to reach its maximum height. We were not asked how long it takes the ball to reach its maximum height, but what that actual maximum height is. And so now to find our maximum height, we just plug our t value of 2.1875 into our height function, h of t equals negative 16t squared plus 70t plus 25. That's something we would have a calculator assist us in evaluating. And when we do that, our calculator should give us a value of approximately 101.5625 feet. So what is the maximum height this ball reaches when thrown from the top of this building? The maximum height is about 101.6 feet off the ground. So one of the most important and common applications of these quadratic functions is modeling the simple projectile motion here. And just have to remember, if we're looking for something like a maximum when it comes to working with a quadratic function, remember a maximum, or it could be a minimum, corresponds to the vertex of our quadratic function.